Well, here in mid-Michigan, it was an intense race in the 7th Congressional District. It ended with Democratic State Senator Mark Schauer beating incumbent Republican Tim Wahlberg. Preeti Arla and Stephanie Kolb have reaction from both candidates. It was an exciting night for State Senator Mark Schauer, who spoke here tonight in front of a crowd of supporters claiming victory. He said it was a long and bitter battle in this race that was expected to be extremely close. But he said he had the votes to unseat his Republican opponent, Congressman Tim Wahlberg, in an area that traditionally votes Republican. And he said it was a good night for Democrats and for him. And he said voters sent a clear message that it's time for change and time for change in the economy. Politics is about competing visions, but governing is about people coming together for a common purpose. And I intend to help govern this country through some very, very tough challenges. And here in Michigan, that common purpose is clear, turning our economy around one job at a time. Because we know in Michigan, if it's needed, we can build it. If it's possible, we can create it. And if it's broken, we can fix it. Shower says he's now ready to get to work in the U.S. Congress and work for the seven districts that he will now serve. In Battle Creek, Preeti Arla, 6 News. The night started out very positive, but it ended with a big disappointment here at Tim Wahlberg's party in downtown Jackson. It wasn't until about 2 a.m. that Tim Wahlberg came out and conceded to his opponent, Mark Schauer. And he did so with tears in his eyes. Clearly tonight was a big disappointment for the Republican candidate. Uh, I want you to know that we're, we're living with the reality right now, and it looks as if there will be a be a new state, a uh, new uh, U.S. congressman from this district. That being the case, I will certainly wish Mark Schauer well when given the opportunity to speak to him. But for right now, I just wanted to say that uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for giving me the privilege for volunteering. Wahlberg says his work isn't done, though. He still has about two months left on his term, and then he says he'll return here to the 7th District and continue fighting for the people here. In Jackson, Stephanie Culp, 6 News.